Hello my lovelies. So uh, it is the day before turkey day. Gobble gobble. Um, turkey day is Thanksgiving here in the USA. Um, I just call it turkey day because that's when you eat turkey. Um, any hoodles. Uh, today we're doing a hairstyle. Um, we're going to do it off the cuff. We're going to wing it. Um, I was at the mall recently as you know and I got the stuff to put the red and pink whatever color this is in my hair um, and I stopped at Claire's because they always have stuff that is interesting to look at in the back corner of Claire's where all the hair stuff is and I bought Conair's Heart Bun Maker. It makes a bun that looks like a heart. Yay! Um, and it's nine pieces. So any hoodles, we're going to give it a go. Now, you guys know I use a fairly massive bun form, which is lovely. Yeah, it is. No, it isn't. Ah, lies! Uh, so this is going to be kind of a small, but oh, yeah, it is. So there's the bun form. It's black. It doesn't come in any other color. Um, and it's made out of squishy, spongy stuff. Yay. OK. Um, also included in the nine piece kit, da -da, two ponytail holders, yay, at least they don't have metal on them, and what is that, six black bobby pins, which I will save for later because, yeah, black, really, why not go with brown? Um, brown will go okay under red hair, brunettes, even black hair. This, hopefully I have enough hair, it won't show up. Black is odd. Okay, so um, instead of just doing the straight up heart, I have an idea in my head. Uh, basically because I know this bun is going to be small. Um, and I'm going to have so much hair left over. Uh, I'm going to try something. We'll see. So, uh, let's put it in a ponytail and get the heart section happening. Um, I do like that on the instructions, it does it the way I usually do a sock bun. Um, instead of, you know, rolling or whatever, the two ponytail method, or ponytail holder method. Put it in a pony, slide it on, spread your hair out, put another ponytail holder on. I find that to be so much easier. Um, now, I know a lot of my girls like to be able to roll up all that extra hair so they just have a nice bun. Um, this, of course, is not going to roll, so that's not an option here. Um, but, like, I can't do a fully rolled sock bun, you guys. It is enormous, and it's not smooth because it's just, my arms aren't long enough. Do you know what I mean? Like, when I start to roll it, my hair, yeah. Let's just say it doesn't work for me and leave it at that. So, ponytail. Hmm. Oh. Alright. Let's pony this. Like so. These are kind of wussy ponytail holders. I have to say. I wonder if I'm going to break it. I certainly hope not. Alright, so, before, I only got two times around. Problem with my hair is two times around. It needs a third time, but it's not big enough to handle the third time. <laughs> Any hoodles. Okay, so, we're going to braid two sections this. So I'm going to split it in half. And then from the center, I'm going to braid this um, in row braid. Like how I'm making it up. I told you we're bringing it. I'm going to braid this into row braid and then I'm going to do the exact same thing on the other side. And then we'll put the heart form on. And then we'll see what happens. Um, I have an idea in my head. Let's see if we can make it work. Alrighty, back in a second. Guys, so, uh, oh, don't worry, I'll do something with that later. Um, Anywho, we should have a ponytail with two braids. 
Oh, kind of in the center-ish. Um, yeah. Alright, now we're going to put our bun form on. Okay, so we're going to thread our ponytail through my ponytail. Oh gosh. <laughs> uh, fine-haired ladies! You might want to try this one out. This hole in the middle of this bun form. Is, oh god. I don't like the stuff it's made out of. It's very... doesn't feel nice. My hair. It's kind of sticky. Anyway, oh well. It's just me. Okay, now let's pull these braids kind of out from all the rest of the hair. And hopefully you haven't done like I apparently have and braided this in. Oh, I didn't. Okay, yay! Um, anyways. I'm just going to kind of pull these to the front and then fan my hair around. We want to make the heart. Now let's take our other band and slide it over like so. I'm going to split down the middle where those are, those braids are. Let's see. Okay. Not so bad. Got a little braided right here at the front. Just, I want them there. Okay. Now, I made these two little braids because we're going to use these as kind of accent braids. I have something in my head, you guys. Now, what we're going to do with the rest of this is make one big rope braid with this that's left over. So let me do that. Get this weirdness here and out. Um, I'm going to rope braid this and then we'll be back and then I'll show you how we're finishing it up. Okay, back in a sec. Two little rope braids. One big rope braid. Now, I'm going to go around the outside with this. Okay, so I'm this far. Um, which is, I pinned the big fat braid around the bun. It looks okay. But in my brain, I had this sort of chained heart thing. Um, but it's like totally, when I start putting the braids over it, it just covers up the heart because the heart is so small. And then it doesn't look like anything but a bun, which kind of defeats the purpose. Um, I mean, I guess I could leave the two little ones hanging down, but I'm not going to because why? So basically, I'm just going to end up wrapping these roundy roundy the outside, <laughs> pinning them under and calling it a day. I was hoping to just, I don't know, make it look cool or use the heart as kind of an accent or... I don't know. Sometimes the things in my brain, I can see them and it looks so cool. And then when I try to do them, it doesn't look anything like it did in my head for whatever reason. For whatever reason. Okay. So basically this just ends up looking like, I don't know, ruffles around a heart. <laughs> It's a little odd, I guess. Um, I did pin the rope braids around the outside fairly loosely, um, just so it wouldn't end up. I'm trying to keep the heart so it looks like a heart, which means I need to make the outside nice and fat and round. Um, yay. And I can still see, I see black through my heart. Uh, move that hair up and around. Really, really bad call on making the bun form black, you guys. Con air, folks. I think that was a, a big fat no. Gotta say. All right, I think I got it covered. Okay, so there we go. Uh, does it work? Yes. Um, do I like it? 
remains to be seen. Maybe as a half up, since it's so small. Um, I really wish it was in blonde, or at least brunette, but what else? Um, hey, who knows? There we go. Uh, this is, I apologize for this video looking really choppy, but I kept trying things, and things weren't working. So I ended up um, editing a lot of stuff out. At least I hope I do. I, you know, I tend to go on and on and on. Um, yay! So, any hoodles? There we go. That's what we're doing today. Just trying out the Conair deal. So, um, would I recommend it? For your daughters, yes. Um, I think it would be really, really cute for little girls. Um, for you yourself, maybe on Valentine's Day, um, I would probably use it more as a half up thing, but if you want a heart bun, it will make a heart bun. So, there you go. Um, or mine, I make a big braided bun with a heart in the middle. Ha ha! Alrighty. Um, until next time, my lovelies. Uh, have a great day. Love you guys.